The first priority to the ninja is to win without fighting. The limitations of a man's soul is tested before his work ethic is seen. We must win. Seek not the stage. Seek not the spotlight. But rather seek integrity and authenticity behind the scenes. It's how you conduct yourself when no one is looking that will determine the level of authority you walk in in public. We are rewarded in public for the work we do in private. In order to master the way of the samurai, you must let go of any arrogance. If we are full of conceit, we will lose ourselves in vanity and destroy our strengths instead of our weaknesses. A true warrior knows their weakness and they work to master them. Keep your promises, fulfill your responsibilities, and stay true to your morals and values. Only then will your path of success open to you. In fighting and in everyday life, you should be determined through calm. Meet the situation without tenseness, yet not recklessly. Your spirit settled, yet unbiased. An elevated spirit is weak, and a low spirit is weak. Do not let the enemy see your spirit. Never let your enemies and challenges overcome you and defeat you. Honor, courage, and devotion is the core of a warrior. You may abandon your own body, but you must preserve your honor. The lesson we can take from the samurai is to be determined in our advancement in life, no matter how many obstacles we have against us. When our path to our calling is blocked, we must be ready to clear it with all our strength. We must train, we must persevere, and never let anyone shape us into something we aren't. Plan and remain rigorous with your goals and target. Chase them like night chases day. Govern yourself in the shadows with integrity. It's what you do behind the scenes. It's the work you put in. The sacrifices made when no one is looking. When the world is sleeping and you are serving, it is only then, at that moment, you will find deeper fulfillment. It's what we do when no one is with us that uncovers the true mastery of the ninja. Mentally, before we see, whatever the improbable feat, make up in your mind, I've already won. We must win in our thoughts. We must win in our conversation. We must win in our actions. Before the war is won, we must see it. I must have a vision of winning. I must speak the language of winning. I must think the thoughts of a winner. This is the pregame before the main event. It's what we tell ourselves before we reach the battle. Victories are won by inches. Those inches are wrapped in our thoughts, our language, and our actions. We must overcome the voices of doubt and fear from within. Start learning from zero. And there is no end to the number of techniques that will emerge. How 
how you start is how you will finish with nothing in your hand and no one in your corner but a dream in your heart. Start with what you have. We have to have the courage, the poise, and the resiliency to begin. Do not wait to be understood. Do not wait to be supported. Do not wait to be liked, loved, and shared. Start from zero. There is no end to the number of techniques that will emerge. Techniques in our conversation, techniques in our thought lives. There is a way to win in every facet of life, in the room of negotiation, in the world of action. There is a way to win there are techniques to be executed, but nothing can be done unless we first believe. We must start with ourselves to become strong, powerful, or famous is really nothing special. People who seek seriously for a martial art with integrity and having found it Never leave it. Are the protectors of the true ninjutsu. Being natural is the ultimate secret of the art. Do not seek fame. Do not seek fortune. Do not seek popularity. But rather, seek discipline. Integrity. Character. And courage. We must not seek happiness from the outside in, but from the inside out. It is not fame or fortune that will bring us into this place of fulfillment. We must find the blessing. We must find goodness in the ordinary. Don't think that any one technique is the end. The samurai always has to rise and move on because new challenges will come. Your mind is your best weapon. This is the unwritten samurai code known as the Bushido. It is the guide for the samurai in life, battle, and death. It was the unwritten code of principles and morals and taught the samurai self-control and the proper use of their sword. The Bushido codes values on life, in keeping one's honor, loyalty, and compassion towards others are all things we can learn from and apply to our everyday lives. Here are the eight virtues of the Bushido. Mercy. Be acutely honest throughout your dealings with all people. Believe in justice, not from other people, but from yourself. Courtesy and good manners will always be noticed. One with the power to command must know how to demonstrate love, sympathy, and affection for others. These traits of benevolence is the highest quality in the human soul. Respect. True warriors have no reason to be cruel. They do not need to prove their strength. Warriors are courteous even to their enemies. Warriors are not only respected for their strength in battle, but also by their dealings with others. Courage. Hiding like a turtle in a shell is not living. A true warrior must have heroic courage. It is living life completely and wonderfully. 
Perceiving what is right and not doing it reveals lack of courage. True courage is doing what is right. Honor. Warriors have only one judge of honor and character, and this is themselves. You must earn the respect of others. It is not given. After respect is earned, you can bring honor to your name and reputation. The sense of honor, the vivid consciousness of personal dignity and worth must be characterized in the samurai. Compassion. Through intense training and hard work, the true warrior becomes quick and strong. They develop a power that must be used for good. They have compassion. They go to help others at every opportunity. Justice. Justice is a core value of the samurai. When warriors say they will perform an action, it is as good as done. Nothing will stop them from completing what they say they do. They reflect on what is fair and uphold the value of upstanding moral character. Without justice, neither talent nor learning can mold a samurai. Loyalty. Warriors are responsible for everything they have done and all of the consequences that follow. They are loyal to all those in their care. Self-control. Warriors abstain from negative temptations. The wrong and right are given, and one should know their difference. To master the ways of the samurai means to have true patience and bearing the unbearable. Be relentless. We must be cognizant, cautious, careful, however confident and courageous. Yet with understanding, we must move under the direction of wisdom. We must strategize with an objective in mind. Our aim, our focus, our target must be excellence. When we move through life uninformed and without a circle of accountability, desolation and gross irrelevancy will be our portion. We need people in our lives that will hold us accountable to the plans that we make and the actions that we take. This is the beauty of an honorably hosted strategy. With great enthusiasm, courage, and unwavering faith, we must execute our plan of action. Do not become the weapon that is formed against you. In order to prosper, you must eliminate all distractions. Do not waste time idling or thinking after you have set your goal. Have an aim, have a target, and once that target is set, be determined. An idle mind is the playground of your enemy. It is an invitation to fail. Immature strategy is the cause of grief. When we deliberately examine our grief, anguish, frustration, oftentimes they are the direct result of the decisions we have made. Anger. Control your anger. If you hold anger towards others, they have control over you. Your opponent can dominate and defeat you if you allow him 
to get you irritated. The angry warrior is the warrior who is fighting himself. A man or woman must be dedicated to stability, immovable, unwavering, no doubt, no fear. Your destiny is predicated on your ability to remain calm, cool, and collected. It is not a matter of not allowing men or women to press your buttons. The truth is, there must be no buttons to press. If you allow anger to control you, to govern you, to arrest you, you're bankrupt. Get back in the driver's seat. Gain control over your emotions. Be committed, be fully persuaded to peace, for without which you will never fulfill your purpose. With everything that you think and every word that you speak and every move that you make, let peace and harmony be your portion. A warrior that is angry is at war with himself. Do not under any circumstances depend on a partial feeling. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. Never let yourself be saddened by a separation. Resentment and complaint are appropriate, neither for oneself nor others. Do not let yourself be guided by the feelings of lust or love. In all things, have no preferences. Do not pursue the taste of good food. We live in a generation where a man's belly is his God, and the words of his mouth precede his destruction. Do not allow your belly to be your God. Watch the words that you speak, for your words determine your future. Do not fear death and never stray away from the way. I am not interested with your talk about my ideas. I am more interested in you applying them to your life. If you do not, then you are essentially not in accord with your own mind. You must dispense with the notion that conversation will change your life. It is only strategy, plan, and execution that alters the very fabric of our existence. You must decide in this moment to execute like you never have. Execute in the face of adversity. Execute in the presence of doubt and fear. Execute. Get the job done. After you have spoken, take action. For if you remain still, you open the door to an idle mind. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Take full responsibility of the portrait and the picture of your life. For it is a direct result of the decisions you have made. The Bushido Code, the guide for the samurai in life, battle, and death. It taught warriors honor, respect, loyalty, and compassion. No matter the number of battles, the number of challenges, the Bushido Code taught the samurai self control and the proper use of their sword. Keep death in mind at all times. If a warrior keeps death in mind at all times and lives as though each day might be his last, he will conduct himself properly 
in all his actions. The samurai always has to rise and move on because new challenges will come. If you embark on uncharted path, infinite secrets will appear at the end. Your mind is your best weapon. The undisturbed mind is like the calm body water reflecting the brilliance of the moon. Empty the mind and you will realize the undisturbed mind. Commit to your mind. I know nothing about surpassing others. I only know how to outdo myself. As a samurai, I must strengthen my character. As a human being, I must perfect my spirit. Are you willing to put your name on it? When your opponent is hurrying recklessly, you must act contrarily and keep calm. You must not be influenced by the opponent. A warrior is worthless unless he rises above and stands strong in the midst of a storm. Honor may not win power, but it wins respect, and respect earns power. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is not an act. Excellence is a habit. To be a warrior in life is a choice. You see, the same winds blow on us all, but it's the setting of the sail. The warrior chooses a path that is challenging. A warrior chooses a path where the obstacles are not in the way. The obstacles are the way. A warrior is someone who looks at himself in the mirror and decides that he is the one that he is going to follow. He believes in himself. He believes in where he is going. He will take the uncharted path. He will stand alone and he will become the best that he can be. It is more important to outthink your enemy than to outfight him. The difference that will always make the difference is to know thyself. If you know the enemy and you know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious, even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby, you can be the director of the opponent's fate. Do not repeat the tactics which have gained you one victory, but let your methods be regulated by the infinite variety of circumstances. Be open to change your ways. The difference that will always make the difference is to think greater than your current circumstances. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. 
You are always the director of your life. You are the producer. You are the actor. You can choose your supporting cast. Make the choice to take control and direct your fate. It's time to rethink yourself. There are five dangerous faults which may affect a general. Recklessness, which leads to destruction. The difference that makes the difference is always learning how to take control of your emotions, to take control of your thoughts, to be the leader that you want to follow. Cowardice, which leads to capture. Be courageous, be strong, be bold. A hasty temper, which can be provoked by insults. There will always be naysayers. There will always be people that try to affect how you think and feel. How you think is always your choice. Give yourself compliments and always put yourself into the best possible position to face the battles that you're going to face in life. A delicacy of honor which is sensitive to shame. Be honorable to yourself. Be the leader that you want to follow. Over solicitude of his men, which exposes him to worry and trouble. Worry is always a choice. Make the choice to think greater than you feel. Be the general in your own life. Be the leader that you want to follow. Life will always be about strategy and preparation. Be united in yourself. The secret to always outwitting yourself is to know that you are much bigger than your current circumstances. You are the difference that will always make the difference. It's so easy to give up and let your emotions get the better of you. The greatest challenge we face today is to become aware of the enemy within. The general who thoroughly understands the advantages that accompany variation of tactics knows how to handle his troops. The general who does not understand these may be well acquainted with the configuration of the country yet he will not be able to turn his knowledge to practical account. The greatest challenge we face today is the part of us that wants to avoid the battles, the part of us that wants to avoid rejection and avoid discomfort. Unhappiness is a fate of one who tries to win his battles and succeed in his attacks without cultivating the spirit of enterprise. For the results is a waste of time and general stagnation. Always know the game that you are playing. Know your strengths and your weaknesses. To win the battle within is to wake up 
to the inner genius within you. To win the battle within is to wake up the inner general within you and for you to become the leader that you want to follow.